welcome back to a five minute guide. Uh, today I'll be looking at Google Web Designer and I'll be specifically looking at the parallax component that comes with Google Web Designer. It's a scroll engagement only sort of functionality. Uh, it's only uh, 300 by 250 and it only works uh, for mobile web. Uh, so I was just looking here at some of the examples they've got. So here's that was an example with Peaches. We've got an example now with a product reveal. And then we've also got this example with a car going down the street. And then finally, we've got some words moving. So what we'll do now is we'll get into Google Web Designer and we'll have a go ourselves. So I'm going to pull in the component onto my canvas from the component library on the right hand side. Use the alignment tools uh, to align it. If I had the alignment tool clicked off, it can actually snap into position because it's the same uh, width and height. So uh, we're now in the component, double tap to enter. On the left hand side, we have the library. On the right hand side, we have the layers. So as I add my elements, I can adjust the, the depth of them, the properties of each of those elements. Over here, we have the start and end position. So where compared to my canvas, do I want the animation to end? and Where do I want it to start? That's really important. So establishing that right at the beginning. So yeah, start and the end. So yeah, I'm just gonna adjust the uh, end right now. And then I'll also adjust the start just so it feels a bit more um, sooner. Sometimes if, it, if you've got the start end quite far apart, it can take a long time to travel. Right, I'll add my first uh, PNG. I'm going to adjust the size. Always good to make sure your images are um, high, high enough quality so you don't get any pixelation. Um, so in the start and end, you'll have a start and end X and Y position. And now I'm going to move to the end position. And then I can adjust the X and Y. Quick preview. Uh, there you go, that was pretty good. So what we'll do now is we'll add a few more items. Oh, whoops. Reposition to the end. Now, because you can see um, the X, Y positions sort of muffled out from the previous, I could obviously use that to guide me where I should be least keeping my height, but it's a bit more of a fluid animation I'm going for, so I'm not particularly worried about being completely accurate. So there you go, that's pretty good. Obviously going backwards looks a bit odd, but hey, we're doing an animation. So I think I'll add one more. Adjust the size, reposition the start, reposition the other one now, because they're all getting a bit busy. Then I'll adjust the end position as well. Right, that looks a bit better. Okay, that looks that looks good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Right, so save. So now, obviously, I'm back on my canvas, and I've got some other elements here. I've got a black background, and I've added in a, a round uh, circle. Let's have a quick look at how that actually looks with all the elements together. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's come out all right. Um, obviously, you don't have to animate from left to right, top to bottom the reverse, it could just go from top down. Um, with that in mind, I spent some time doing another little animation myself. Um, I've added a few more elements in, made it a bit more busy. There you go. Uh, this one had huge amounts of layers, loads of different items, depths. Um, so there's a lot of experimentation with it, moving elements around. And a lot of fun doing it actually, and I think What's great about using Parallax uh, as the component within Google Web Designer is it allows you to do some quick animations, but keep it really quick and engaging. This doesn't actually take that long to do. So I think that's a way of looking at it. If you need to make a quick animation, it's mobile, mobile focused, and it's got to be done tomorrow, just use the Parallax tool. That is a go-to tool to be using. So anyway, I, I'd just like to say thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Um, if you do have any other things you're interested in or if you'd like to follow me uh, on my trials and tribulations of learning Spark AR, uh, click on the link on the left. Thanks.